Hi everyone, it's Mariah Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something fun. We're going to um, be using this palette again. Sorry I'm a little sick, um, but we're just going to power through, you know? <laughs> so this is a Physicians Form of Butter um, palette, the palette Tropical Days. There's two versions of this, or there's two different butter palettes, which I was not aware of. My target has let me down. Ugh. So, um, the first look I did was with this first panel. So, I'm going to do a look with the middle panel. Um, and I'm going to kind of follow the diagram on the back. Um, and that's called Heat Wave. So, let's just get into that, shall we? So I'm going to just do my, this is my everyday base. This is what I do when I go to work. I don't use foundation. I use just concealer. Um, spot conceal and like for under eye too. Honestly, I kind of use this almost like foundation, depending on how many blemishes I have at any given moment. Um, so yeah, it looks something like this. <laughs> um, I'm, I use my... <clears throat> I swap between two, so I have my Real Technique sponge, which I have a case for it, um, which is, this is genius, genius by the way, now that they've finally done this, and it goes right in my little bag here, I got it Ulta, and then I also use my e.l.f. sponge, sorry, this is dirty, but those are the two sponges I um, go between. So tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. So that's one of the reasons why it's up in a bun, but like don't get me wrong, it's always up in a bun. <laughs> um, but that's why it's a little bit more messy than normal. So tomorrow's haircut time and then next week I'm getting a refresh of my highlights. I think I'm almost running out of the shape tape, actually. Time to buy a new one. So the last time I was at Ulta getting my eyebrows done, I was looking at the shape tapes, and it seems like they've expanded their range. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the same color, which is fair, or... Go in with something lighter, but then, like I said, I a lot of times will use it as more of a foundation than a... Like, I still use it as concealer, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I definitely, um, you know, wear it more as just, like, overall coverage. But, um, I swatched a few of the different, the fairer shades than fair. And, um, I wasn't really sure which one I would go with, so I like to wear it on the skin and just let it sit so I can kind of see what it would be like if it oxidized. There goes the heater. So I'm back to using blush again, so I'm using the Milani's Luminoso. And that bronzer I was using was Too Faced Milk uh, Chocolate Soleil. So, Becca's Moonstone for my highlighter. Uh, Lash Paradise 
face mascara. Um, I use black is black. And in the past, as far as mascara goes, I've always done bottom and top. No matter how much makeup I'm wearing, but recently I've just been depending on how I'm feeling that day, but just kind of doing the top. Oh shoot! We're doing eyeshadow. Well. I obviously haven't filmed a video in a long time. <sighs> okay, so we'll let that dry and then I'll just kind of go in around it, which is what I sometimes do anyway. Uh, if I'm filming and I already have makeup on. So let's talk brow pencils. So I've been using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, so for a while I was using Burnett and I repurchased and then I, but before I repurchased I went through my drawer, um, my brow drawer and I found Dark Brunette. So I used that and I realized it does actually match the hair of my brows better. So I kind of have been going back and forth. Um, Oh, and this one's almost gone too, so I repurchased it um, from Target, but... So, like, I guess I was trying to be more natural by using brunette instead of dark brunette, but in reality it doesn't... Like, maybe I should fill, like, where the hairs are in with that, but use this to kind of create any extra shape because this in reality is what the color of my eyebrows are. But then I struggle because I have long highlights in my hair, so my hair is lighter. So I kind of go back and forth. But, um, yes. So this whole routine takes me about 10 minutes, 10-ish minutes in the morning. And a lot of times I don't leave myself enough time, so I'm like, that's why I keep it in that little pink bag, so that I can just kind of finish it at work. Alright, we're just going to call it a day. So, if this was my normal everyday routine, I would then take this Becca opal and this brush and just use it as an eyeshadow crease lid little inner corner and then I'm on my way so that's what I do for my everyday but we're gonna be da -da -da, using this today so on the back um, it seems like the shimmery shade um, which is right here is in the crease. Oops, sorry, I dug my nail. Oh, I dug my nail into it. It's beautiful. It's like a coppery color. Um, the darkest brown is kind of like outer corner. Um, seven appears to be mid lid, and six upper crease. Kind of. Okay, so that's what we're gonna. We're going to start with 7 um, as an all over crease shade, which is this right here. Sorry, on the back the shades are numbered. Um, they do also have names. So number 7 is Sand Dunes. It's very, um, I said this last time, but it's very powdery.
So I'm going to go in with Coco Loco, which is that dark brown, and do outer corner. So one thing that I'm realizing is, um, depending on the shadows, um, that I almost feel like I need to do a better job of blending. I was looking at the photos from this palette, the first, um, the first look I filmed, and I feel like almost the outer corner wasn't blended enough into the middle of the eye portion, and it could just be the colors, um, but I was like, oh, I didn't do a great job there. Um, so now I'm going to go in with the more orangey color. It's called Heat Wave. And the picture kind of has it, um, like in this portion of the eye. So it was gorgeous. Okay, so then the inner corner of the eye, um, what's the shade called again? Sorry. Sightseeing, it's the glittery one I dug my nail into. Um, we're gonna do inner like tear duct and inner corner of the eye. They almost, on the sketch, drag it kind of underneath as well. So I am gonna take a little bit of that um, middle shade and kind of put it middle bottom lash line and then I'm going to also blend the chocolate color um, outer third and for this I'm actually going to go in with my mascara and put it on the bottom and then I'm going to do the other eye and, and kind of come back. So let's just see what it looks like. Okay. So with the exception of the heater in the background, excuse me, sir. Um, this look is complete. I only have red lipstick down here. So don't know if I want to slap that on for the sake of the video I also have bright pink so that doesn't really go here so typical me fashion I'm gonna stick with the no lipstick are you surprised okay so this look I'm in love with way more than the other one the first one the first one was nice but this is like Mm, taking it up a notch. It's smoky, it's um, sultry, it's kind of like orangey brown vibes. Um, I love that they're suggesting to do things differently on this palette. Like not that most people, um, most makeup people that buy makeup products, and what I mean by makeup people is like people like me that have way too much makeup that's not necessary. They might not follow this, but maybe the average consumer who buys way less makeup than I do might indeed be looking for inspiration and is going to follow what's on the back of the packaging. Again, the hair, I know. Ugh. Um, so yeah. So this is super cool and I'm really glad that I'm following through. I always am like, oh yeah, I'm going to do more looks with the palette and then I just, 
move on to the next thing and I don't do it. So next we're gonna, not today, but next time I film, I'm gonna do the third look ready for Rio. That's like the purple and teal vibes. And you know, teal is my jam. So, um, would I suggest this palette? Yes, absolutely. Um, I feel like it's kind of has a good mix of everything. So, just, it's powdery. So just make sure you're like, tapping off the brush to get off the excess. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, so let's just pause for a second and rewind back to when I said I only have bright red lipstick down here and so I'm not going to put any on. I'm a red lipstick wearer. I wear red lipstick with everything. So here's the lipstick. I'm going to talk about it in um, a separate video, a haul video, and then I'm kind of going to talk about the lipstick itself because it's a new release from Maybelline. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!